You're still watching Ways now. Out of all the important days in June, this day is a highly notable one. On June 5 every year, the World Environment Day is celebrated for creating awareness regarding the protection of the environment around us. We can protect our environment by, by adopting certain changes in our regular lifestyle. So what did you do today for World Environment Day? Sandra, is it? Um, what did I do today? Because <laughs> I know you're always posting flowers on your, on your page. No, yeah, well, I do, I do love flowers. Mm. I think flowers are like, it's just funny how we see beautiful things and we ignore it. But then when you pay attention to it, it's just so beautiful. So World Environment Day, well, I stepped out and I received like, like fresh, fresh air. air. Yeah. Thanks to the people that planted the trees on your behalf. You know, it breaks my heart <laughs> when yeah. I see any tree being fallen. Wow. It breaks my heart because I know the amount of... The oxygen. impact, yeah. Yes. The Quite impact a it takes. People don't the, the toll I it takes on the it. environment. Yes. In fact, I, I was listening to um, Irene Ubani. She's one of um, the lady in charge of business in, in Plus TV. I was watching her on um, the Tea Time show this this morning and she was talking about plastics. In fact, when she said it, I was cringing on her because it irks me when I see people Throw it in a beautifully... Floor decorated suv hmm. and you just drink water from a pet bottle or maybe from a can whatever and, and you just throw it, it across the it, it does not make like i don't understand how how people I think. think it's the height of indiscipline oh my goodness you know there was a time and this is one thing i respect um bishop Oedekbo for when Shiloh was Shiloh, when everybody used to come from all over the world to come to otter before they now decentralized it to say okay attend to whatever there was a rule then when you are inside that bus, because transport, you know, those big buses that would transport people to Otter, it would tell the buses, do not bring down the window of the, the bus. Nobody must buy anything, nobody, because he didn't want that litter. I mean, we need to start enforcing it. It should get to that point back where we enforce it. You see somebody just buy something from the, and the just, vendor. You know what? Room, when, you now, throw it. when you now give them the face, they look at eh, you like, like, what did I just why, do? Did what I did do I do? Wrong? Did I do yeah. anything wrong? So that's please, so let's take care of, of, of uh, our environment because that's the only thing we have. We don't have, mm -hmm. we don't have two planets. Okay, um, <laughs> coronavirus came in our many months and grounded the whole world. Yes. So do you know the impact of climate change and all this thing that we've been hearing? <clears throat> Excuse me, when you start having the impact, absolutely, we are all going to be grounded. Absolutely. Grounded. Right. So talking about that, so what did you find for us in the news, Sandra? Okay, so um, starting with... Um, she just talked about corona. <laughs> and well, the update from NM, N, N, CDC. N, why do I keep saying NM, NMPC? <laughs> <laughs> you want to work in NMPC? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to apply to NMPC. So, NCDC, um, the latest update from them is that um, people, uh, patients without symptoms after 14 days are automatically going to be discharged without, without a further test. For, yeah, a proper lab test or, or anything. And they went on to, you know, give other. Other things they said that I don't think is really relevant. You can go read it. It's on the nation, uh, the nation website. But the, 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 what struck me is I know that corona is, uh, uh, can be asymptomatic. Some patients can be asymptomatic sometimes. So what really um, validates that decision? But then again, there was another report I read while there that according to research that they've learned that after 10 days, the corona virus is can no longer survive. the infectious uh, stage. So that means after 14 days, it's not... Is there an indirect way of telling us they're running out of testing ah, kits? I don't know. There are too many things happening know. indirectly. Because normally, they, mm. the, the they test them twice before they are released into mm. the society. Yeah, but this time, no so, test at all. No, no test at all. I think that's a bit... Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how Presumptive. I, I think that's a bit early to take such a decision. But we'll yeah. see how it so goes. Yeah, so what did you find for us, Lamy? Okay. Um, recently, Governor Kalu, uh, ex Governor Kalu, was released by the um, Correctional Services mm -hmm. because of the outcome of his matter. But what I found nauseating is that all the principal members mm. of the National Assembly, in particular the Senate, went to give him a solidarity visit. <laughs> in the first place, what does this mean? Solidarity visit by you know, politicians. Yeah, right. yeah, it's a bit, because number one, the case of Ojikalu wasn't decided on its merit. Mm -hmm. It was basically, it was a jurisdictional issue, a technical issue. I know that judge that delivered the, um, the, the Court of Appeal judge mm -hmm. who stepped back to the Federal High Court to deliver that judge. He's a very thorough judge. 
So I am very, very sure that the, the matter was decided on its merit. Hmm. But on the, on the issue of jurisdiction, <coughs> excuse me, it was struck out at the Supreme Court. So it doesn't remove the fact that he was found guilty. Mm. And the Supreme Court didn't say he's, he's, been, um, he's no more convicted. Mm. What if Supreme Court said you, they need to try the matter de novo? So why are they paying him a solidarity? I think our, our political class do not understand what integrity means. Ah, that ship has sailed. All right, so my story is quite <laughs> simple and easy. Mm -hmm. I saw a trend on, um, what's it called, Twitter. on Twitter about Alaja, Haji and all of that. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, just, I was just wondering how come we take certain things personal. So apparently somebody um, tweeted and said that, I beg, call me. Uh, no, somebody was saying that um, she finds it very derogatory when you are not able to say her name. And instead of calling her name, just, you just, you just, because she's wearing a hijab, hijab you just call her Hajia or you call her um, Alaja. And I'm wondering, like, you know, for me, that is a northern girl. I was born and bred in Kaduna State. I mean, for us, it was a thing Sign of pride. Of respect. It was a thing of pride when you call somebody Hajia. It means that, you know, you've gone to the Holy City. Now you are now yeah. a bona fide, you know, righteous Muslim. person. So they call you that name, like, in reverence. So I didn't know that it was derogatory. So for me, I thought to mention it because it's something we're learning every day. So Is some it, people actually, derogatory? because it was, no, it was actually two-sided. The opinions were two-sided. Some people said, call me Alaja. I mean, I saw one lady's uh, tweet, Rashida. She said, I beg, call me Alaja or Hajia. I, I have no problem with it. In fact, I love being called Hajia and Alaja. Some people find it that it's a thing of pride and a thing of joy for them to be called. Some people find it derogatory. So I think maybe going forward, courtesy would demand, how would you, you like to be addressed? Ask. You know, we don't know how to ask that question yeah, in this country. Like, yeah, you don't ask. We just see the person and we just, you know, so yeah. ask people, how, how would you do love you to, be to be addressed? addressed? How do you want me to address you? Yeah. And I think it will make a whole world of The difference. one that really knows it, that appalls me the most is when you're talking to me and I'm not familiar with you and you say, my dear, my dear ah. my it <laughs> gets Hold it. into my head. <laughs> like, what? All right, so I think that? uh, that's all we can take on what's in the news. So, um, Hawa OJ4 will join us right after the break to discuss rape. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.